Hi guys, it is November 19th. It's Monday and I'm just home chilling, rolling a few and watching YouTube videos. And I watch a lot of reaction videos. I just find them very entertaining and very amusing. I know a lot of people don't like them, but oh well, I'm not one of them. Um, I am subscribed to you, Alex Hefner. I am having a dope ass day. Thank you. Uh, King KTF uh, Preston, I think is your name. Yes. Uh, Half Life Sister. You guys are so fucking cute. Your husband showing you all those videos, all the metal is just adorable to watch. Adorable. Uh, and then Lost in Vegas, I watched you guys too. Um, and you guys are just fun. Fun to watch. Anyways, so those are like the main four that I really watch as reaction videos. And then I just kind of click on and off of from other guys, um, you know, when they're suggested. That's Belle snoring in the background. I tried nudging her, and she's just out. She's just going to keep snoring, so bear with that noise. <laughs> it's actually pretty cute. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because it's a trip. A whole generation of people out there, um, especially you, Alex, and Preston, um, I think you guys are like a generation behind me. Um, that have never heard a Metallica song before. And I just find that hella trippy because, I mean, I'm 38 um, and I grew up in the Bay Area. So um, Metallica has a big following in the Bay Area in San Francisco. What's up, 415? Yeah, look at that. Got the whole city on my arm. Metallica will go to the AT&T Park and uh, do the national anthem for the Giants. Go Giants. So, so it's just trippy for me to, to, you know, hear of people that never even heard a Metallica song before. It's just, it blows my mind. It, it's crazy. You know, again, growing up in the Bay Area, uh, and and I, I moved to, the, to San Francisco when I was like eight. So I'm pretty sure I heard a Metallica song on the radio. Uh, Live 105 when you actually didn't suck and play stupid ass music. Yeah, you guys. Pretty sure I heard them on the radio at some point um in my youth <laughs> or i probably saw them on mtv back in the day when mtv didn't suck and they actually played videos music videos and they had a um, headbangers ball which i actually i didn't watch oh, my little battery is letting me know yes i know i didn't really watch headbangers ball Back in the day, I just wasn't into metal yet. I didn't get into metal. Oh my god, she's so loud, guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't get into metal until I was like 14 or 15 years old. Um, and I started off with grunge. There was um, someone in high school that liked Nirvana. Uh, and I had a little crush, so... Of course, I was like, oh my god, he's so cute, and I'm gonna like Nirvana too, because he likes it. But I actually ended up really, really liking it, um, and then I started listen to, listening to more grunge and alternative at, at that time. Um, and then, I saw a white zombie video on MTV, and it was the white zombie, uh, the more human than human, and I just... I loved the bass in it. And then when I saw the video and it was a chick, I was like, oh my God, girl power, yay! I really loved the song. And that that's what started it for me with my, my metal evolution. Um, after that, I got really into corn. Um, I jumped on that bad bang wa bandwagon uh, when um, Follow the Leader came out. And then... I just never got off of it until he started doing work with like Skrillex and then they did the dubstep thing and then they got all weird. I stopped listening for a while. Uh, you know, head left, found Jesus. <laughs> he came back. Yay, head, thanks for coming back. Um, I kind of got into him again, but not not as hardcore as, as back in the day. Um, now I just got... A heavier taste which is great it's just freaking trippy to have this generation finding all this metal out especially when they're hip-hoppers finding metal it's just and they get it that's the best part 
I think it's so fucking cool. Thanks for getting it, guys. By the way, guys, have you guys seen David, the drummer from Korn? He got, like, all bulked up. And he looks like Danzig now. He's just kind of weird looking. Um, apparently, he owns a grill somewhere in SoCal. I don't even know if it's even open or successful or anything. Um, but, he, yeah, that's weird. If you haven't seen him, go go check out pictures of him. It's weird. I'm basically just kind of giving out a shout out to, you know, the the reaction YouTuber people out there that get the medal and appreciate it. I appreciate you appreciating the heavy metal. <laughs> okay, guys, the big four. In my order, I can do it in my order. Okay, so number four is Anthrax. Um, haven't heard too much of Anthrax, but what I have heard is meh. Number three is Metallica. I know, right? Number three, Metallica, because... You guys are all over the place. Even on my Megadeth station, they always play Metallica, and it's really annoying. Um, great band. You know, they, they're legends. They brought metal to the masses, but it, they, I don't know. I just, yeah, Metallica. Number two, Slayer. I like Slayer. I like that it scares people. And I think it's so amusing that it scares people. And I just find it hilarious. And it super gets you pumped up and ready to go. And just want to freaking punch somebody in the face. Even though I've never really gotten to a fight ever before. I, I don't condone violence. But sometimes I do. Um, and then of course number one is Megadeth. Because I'm a Megadeth girl. And I love, love Megadeth. Oh, hi. Hello. Um, he's been kind of wanting attention so come on little purr box so yeah number one for me is megadeth um dave mustaine this luscious locks i love it um i've seen megadeth about three to four times um and i've seen slayer about three to four times as well metallica i i saw them in 2000 and they were doing the summer sanitarium tour. Um, and unfortunately the person that I was with was a big bummer and a big old fun Nazi. We, we stayed throughout the whole concert up until, and this was back in Candlestick Park when Candlestick was still around. Mm, he's so cute, he's my favorite. Um, and, and it was so cold and it was daylight. I think Korn was the last opening band uh, to play before Metallica came on, um, and Metallica finally came on, we saw maybe one or two songs, and by the second song, um, the person I was with was like, we gotta go, so after waiting 45 minutes in the freaking cold that is candlestick, my feet were freezing, y'all, waiting for them to come on, and after 45 minutes, he was like, okay, let's go. I just, <clears throat> so, I only really got to see two songs of Metallica, and then we had to go. And and it was it was so annoying, because like we we were in the car on, on the way home, getting out of Candlestick parking lot, and you could still hear Metallica in the background. And I'm just like, mm, come on. Like, this sucks. Why, why do we have to leave? Um, so... Metallica, I only saw that one time, if you would even count it. You know, after a while, uh, wanted to go see them again, and they were at, like, AT&T Park this time. And they were so expensive. The tickets for the, though, that was just ridiculous. I'm like, I'm not gonna pay $125 for general admission for Metallica. Fuck that. And that's why they're num my number three, so... No, like, they can go fuck themselves. Like, Metallica, you're great, but I'll I'll go watch Megadeth for way cheaper and have a better experience and like your the music more, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anthrax! I honestly don't think I've ever seen Anthrax live, 
before. Mm. They probably opened up for somebody at some point at a festival, but I don't I don't think I've ever actually saw them that I can remember. Sorry, Anthrax. Okay, so speaking of subscriptions and YouTubers, um, I'm also subscribed to Killbot and Gore Gore Attack. You're awesome. Uh, Black Metal Werewolf. I am staying brutal. Um, and the Metal Monster, which actually he has not come out with a video in a very long time. And I think it's just because he's been touring with this band um, for I don't know how long. And um, I think you're the the metal monster is in the east coast somewhere and i'm on the west coast so i don't know anything about him or what's going on with him and she keeps snoring <laughs> oh sh a shout out to all of those youtubes there youtubers that um i i just mentioned um and there's actually very few actual bloggers that i watch um the main one is actually uh got love um kyle got i actually started watching kyle got um about three or four years ago um i was thinking about you know it was like four years ago i was thinking about jo joining the air force um i even had a tattoo in the back of my ear with a, a paw print and i got it lasered off because um in the military you can't have any tattoos up up on your neck so i got it removed and i was running a lot I was training and I got my mile down to 8 minutes and 45 seconds when I was running and taking care of myself. Life happened and I decided not to go that way, um, but I'm still subscribed to um, Kyle Gott. But actually, I, I watch Got Love more now um, and I just think they're a cute couple. Yes, I will go logo with whiskey. I think I already went loco. You guys, Belle is hardcore dreaming right now. Like, her face is totally twitching right now. It's actually pretty freaking cute. <laughs> Can you hear that? It's so funny. Surrounded by cute animals. How is he? Little purr box. Can you hear him? <laughs> oh, such a lover. I oh, love this one. I love cat love. I'm going to be chilling like a villain with whiskey on my lap. Steve will be back home soon with some lunch. Um, and then we're just going to keep chilling. Because, you know, that's what we do. Oh, whiskey. I'm going to enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> um, and I had fun talking about metal because I always do. I always light up. I talk about music and metal so maybe I'll talk about metal some more later if you guys like that kind of stuff um, yeah all right that's it Peace.